Hey everyone, welcome back to Scrummy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make traditional Irish Kulkanen. I'm going to be making it the old way. There are a number of ways you can make Kulkanen, depending on the county you live in, even the village you live in. I'm going to be using the recipe that I know, which is potatoes, cabbage and white onions. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start with the onions. I'm using white onions. You'll find lots of recipes on the internet that says you can use spring onion and you can do that. But for the traditional Irish Kilcannon, white onion was always used, nothing else. You couldn't get spring onion in Ireland in October when this was being made at Halloween. So we're going to peel these and chop them up. Now let's just chop them up small. Now we're just going to get these into a bowl. Now as I said, um, in Ireland this recipe can vary from county to county. I know in County Wexford, when they make Kilcannon, in some parts of Wexford they like to put parsnip in it. And I'm sure other counties have other ingredients they put into it too. So that's the onions there. So we're just going to leave these to one side and we're going to cook everything together and have everything chopped up. Okay, so next up we're going to prepare the potatoes. I'm using rooster potatoes. I've got about eight large potatoes here, two kilograms of potatoes either. So I'm going to peel these and cut them in half. So let's do that now. This would have been a really cheap dish for families to make um, because potatoes, cabbage and onion were readily available. They were all grown in every garden on farms in Ireland. All right, so now we're just gonna cut these in half. And there we have the potatoes. We're just gonna set these to one side. Okay, so now we're gonna use our cabbage. This is Savoy cabbage. I'm gonna remove the outer leaves because I need these from when I cook the Kilcannon. I'm going to cut this up and slice it. And we're going to slice this thinly now and give it a wash. Now let's get it into a cauldron so we can give it a little wash. And there you have it. All right, so now that we've got all our ingredients ready, we can put them all into our saucepan. So the first one I'm going to put in is the onions. I'm going to put this on the bottom. Next, we're going to put in the cabbage. And the potatoes go on top. And we're going to pour some water over. And this is how it was cooked. We put some leaves on top, cover it in the outer leaves of the cabbage. And that's it ready, so let's get it onto some heat. Now we're going to bring this to the boil and simmer it until the potatoes are nice and soft. 
These have been simmering for about 30 minutes and I'm just going to check them now. And they're nice and soft in the center. So we can remove these from the heat. And now we're just going to remove any excess water. And pop the lid on them for about five minutes. So now that the potatoes are done, we're going to add in the rest of our ingredients. So we're going to add in some white pepper, salt, butter, and warm milk. And I'm just going to mash these up together. And give it a good mash. This is ready, so I'm just going to serve it up now and I'll show you how we do that. Pop it into a dish. And there's also a tradition where we put a coin or a ring into the cannon. So I'm just going to put a coin in. Just pop it in there. And add another bit of potato. We just put a little hole in the center, like that. And we're going to add some butter into the middle. And there you have it, traditional Irish Kilcannon. And just look at that melted butter, doesn't it look delicious? I really hope you enjoyed this video and try out this Kilcannon recipe. If you've never had Kilcannon before, it's definitely worth giving it a go, it is really nice. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or follow my page. I've got lots of recipes there and lots of other Irish recipes too that are really nice. Thanks again. Happy baking everyone. Enjoy.